Hello, and welcome. We have another episode of Dead Rising 3 right here. So here we have a handgun and a t flashlight. So we'll just pick up the flashlight. And we can combo with that. Do do intense music while we build. So now we've got another tactical handgun. That's where I got my shades from. In case anybody really cared. So we venture out into the world. So now there was a little. So we've got an incoming call. Let's check that out. Meg, this is a hot little illegal chick over by the Ingledon Motel. Is she the pants? So we've picked up our first side mission. That guy's t voice is really annoying, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to venture over to find threads. And I'm going to. What's this? Daisy Duke chest. I don't think that would be a good look. It says find threads, but it's just. Daisy Duke clothing. Which might be funny, but <laughs> I don't think I want to be. What was that? When it said fine threads, I thought, you know. It would be some good clothing. Anyway. Screw that then. So at the moment, this area isn't too populated. It likes to break you in fairly gently. And I didn't mean to pick that up. So I'm going to throw it at this zombie's head. Oh, it's a policeman. I need to be careful here because they can shoot me. So that's them dispatched with. There's a lot of police around here. So I'm going to go in here. So there's a suit of armour there that we can have the fiefdom outfit. So it's hamburger fiefdom. So there's lots of hamburgers and stuff in here. Very useful place to go. There's a pile of donuts and onion rings. I, I just... <laughs> That was slightly odd. Okay, let's go and oh, we'll go. In, we'll go and help Bob. Where is Bob? Bob is over here. Oh, hello. I don't think he'd get me. Ah, uh, this guy's in this uh, boxing ring. Beat the shit out of them, and there we go. That's one of the combo moves you can do when you get a combo of ten going. So he buggers off. Some boxing gloves there. I'm gonna get some hand-to-hand -hand combat on the go. Yeah, and then they disappear. Ooh, what's that? Weapon blueprints tenderizers. How have I missed those before? Never mind, we've got them now, that's good. So. Let's pick those MMA gloves up. <laughs> what am I doing? Right. This is actually running out of. Uh, uh oh. Uh, so I've noticed in the game the more you go on, the more populated with the zombies it becomes. Although that's a fair amount of zombies. You can usually just run your way through them. So here is our objective. Oh, missed. Uh, if anyone has downloaded the demo for 
Dead Rising 3, you'll probably recognise all this bit. I think this is one of the missions you can do on that. So we can go up here and speak to this lady. Cool painting, but you do know there's a zombie outbreak going down, right? Get a clue and mind your own business. Don't mess with me, okay? This is serious shit. Okay, whatever. But looks like you're out of paint, so why don't you just get somewhere safe and finish it later? There won't be a later if I don't get this done. Wait, wait, who are you with, huh? Are you a snitch? What? No, I'm not a snitch. What are you talking about? Why is this so important? It's not for me. It's for people like me, the ones who live off the grid because of those fascists. Illegals? Wait, you mean this sign means there's a safe place nearby? Safe from zombies? Don't call me an illegal. Yes, that's why I have to finish. But my cannons are dry to shit. I need three more to get this done. You mean spray paint? Cannons. That's cool. Sure, I'll try to get you three. So, exciting side mission here. We need three spray paint cannons. So, fortunately, it does show up where they are. Well, there's one showing up anyway. I think you have to get close to them for them to show up. So, we'll go and acquire that one. Oh, I didn't think that. I was. Yeah. Um, down here probably will be one of the firemen zombies, if I remember right. They are tough as nails. You can have that on the head. Well, easy tiger. So the spray paint is in there. Oh. Can't remember how to get there. Ah, yes, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. So, let's eat an apple. So that's one spray paint can acquired. A hair dryer. Oh yes, that's the one I want. Oop. Beat you to death with a hair dryer. No, that's not gonna be any good. Right. So there is a map for this game, as you can see, so you can have a look. Um, these stars are like bonus missions. Um, the blue icons, I believe, are blueprints, funnily enough. And these icons, some of them are statues of the guy from the first oh, Dead Rising, Fred, Frank. Frank West? It's not Fred West. Huh. Huh. Okay. Is that a nail gun? Can I have that please? That sounds like fun. So... Oh, I could have got him there. According to me, up here should be a blueprint. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Ooh, what's this? An assault rifle. Yeah, that's going to be more fun to use, isn't it? So, yeah, you can see that glowing pillar there. That's uh, that glowing light. That's a side mission. Survival training. Use nothing but firearms. Kill as many zombies as possible in the given time limit. So, ah, there's the blueprint. Chop and chop and talk. Uh oh. 
so uh, whoops, wrong button. How do we make that? With a battle axe and a game console. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Let's do that. This should be interesting. Obviously I haven't found this one before. What else have I got? Oh, let's get rid of that. We don't want that. That's just stupid. Uh, I don't think I've ever gone in here. I'm sorry if I'm just aimlessly going around and... Uh, That's what happens with this game, you just end up getting distracted. So there's another game console. It doesn't like any look like any particular game console. You'd have thought because it was an Xbox blah, 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 an Xbox One exclusive, they might have made it an Xbox. Uh, an Xbox One console that you pick up. Right, can't see very well in here, so we'll get tactical lights out. Oh shit! So, I, oh my god. I don't want the MMA boys. So basically it's an axe that talks. A warm winter jacket. Oh, let's put the warm winter jacket on. Make a really cool weapon with a robot bear. Where's the robot bear gone? Did I break it? Oh well. It's a baseball bat and a box of nails. Investigate the Zen Gardens. Well, I know what's there. It's a psycho mission. Yes. So we'll forget the sledge slaw. Sledge slaw. <laughs> the sledge saw. That's a big burning donut. I, I, all I'm doing at the moment is pissing about. I do apologise. Let's. Um, Let's track these. Roman candle. Firecrackers, man, there's just... There's so much cool stuff I still haven't found in this game. Um, I'm... Where am I going? I've still got a wrench. Let's just drop down here. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't quite expecting that to happen. <laughs> Don't know why. Right there. Uh, Spray paint can. So we'll go and see Ronda once I've got these spray cans. So I've, I've basically spent f nearly 15 minutes just pissing about in this game. Oh, hello. That was interesting. Hello, look. So we can just jump over these. Yeah. 
So we need to go in this house. This is a broadsword, which is pretty awesome. So they have patched this game so that it actually uses the rumble trigger. So when you use the when your weapon starts yeah. to break, it starts to rumble. Um, could have been a bit more inventive, really, but you know, nice little addition. Uh oh, police officers. didn't they? Ah, machete. Um, I'm not gonna, I can take the machete. In fact, I'm gonna eat a lettuce. And if I remember rightly, ah yes. Right, let's take that. And that. So if I had come in here, you would find a blueprint and make this crazy mecha. mecha dragon. So I can just headbutt the shit out of people. And if I pick that up and combo it with the mecha dragon, <laughs> I've now got a mecha dragon blade. So, last spray can. I believe that, yeah, there's somebody over here as well. We can go and save. Let's... She's happy. We've got uh, another spray paint. We can grab that battery and. Let's make this chunky. Can we pick that up? I don't know if this. No, I don't think this is. Yes, we can make the electric crusher. This is one I've already picked up as well. Oh, hello! So, let's go motorbiking. I'm gonna run you over. So, yeah, there is a bit of popping on this guy. Just seen a good example of it there, the bricks on the floor just popped up, but you're all right. Listen, you can take people to places you see marked like this, okay? I respect that you guys do this, even though you get so much shit from people. Hope this helps someone get safe. Okay. Time to ditch these streets while I'm still kicking. You should too. Hey, you know, you can come with me now if you want. Okay. But don't be thinking you're gonna get any because I don't do food, alright? <laughs> yeah, so now she's gonna follow me until she dies. I big time. She probably will die at some point. But I can give her a weapon. I know exactly what weapon I want to give her, but okay. it's not that. And I know that if I jump down here. Here we go. I know that if I give her that. Here's something. 
shot that zombie's arm off. That was awesome. And anything interesting in here? Some super rations and a crowbar. So there's also some grenades here. So I'll we'll have some of them just for shits and giggles. Uh, there's not really many zombies around to throw grenades at, so what is this girl doing? Um, right. Oh, shit. Is there a vehicle we can use? That one looks buggered. Let's just chuck a grenade over there for the lap fun of it. <laughs> Get off of it. So it's great when you're hitting zombies, you can see bits falling off them. And sometimes they still don't die. So you got to make sure they're dead. Splitting them in half like that, usually... Oh, sorry. Sorry, love. Go back and see Rhonda. Hey. So we'll go back to the garage and we'll speak with Rhonda. This is the slowest motorbike in the world, or is it a scooter? Oh my word, it's it's found some pace now. Oh word, ah! <laughs> yeah, the vehicle controls are not the best in this game. Makes for some amusing anecdotes there. So I will do that psycho mission. It, I think, as far as I know, it's completely... Uh, um, you don't have to do it. I'm just wondering. No, I can't make combo with vehicles yet. Ooh, that steamroller will come in handy though with that motorbike. Um, I need to talk to her, don't I? So, let's talk to her. Production bridge? Jesus. I mean, how the hell are we gonna get there? We can't walk and drive is not so safe either. We could fix up one of those. Or both. Reinforce one with the other? Combine them to make something stronger? Yeah, yeah, that's the same idea I had. Just just run with it. See what you could do, kiddo.
probably make more of these out on the road now that you know what you're doing. Let's get to that quarantine station. Now, if everybody in the world worked as quick as our friend Nick here, then uh, maybe we wouldn't be in a financial crisis. Anyway, I'm going to call an end to this episode. Um, we are going to venture forth and uh, yeah, go and uh, kill some more zombies in this vehicle. But for now, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye.